Hi guys, this is Mr. Reem. Hey, welcome back in the fall. I'm going to take you through a quick tutorial on how to actually get yourself on the Common application. So, I'm here on the Common App homepage, and you're going to be uh, heading to commonapp.org, and you're going to be underneath the Applicants tab. So basically, you probably don't have an account yet, so if you don't, go ahead and go right down here where it says Create an Account, click Go. It's going to take you through two or three pages where you're going to enter some basic information about yourself. Okay? And as you're going through there, it's going to be very important that you remember your Common App username and your Common App password because I'm going to show you in just a second how to connect your Common App application account to your Navient's Family Connection account. That will be very important and a big change for us in the fall of this year. Um, so once you go, th go through this and create uh, an account with your, your email, make sure it's an email address that you check and that's also uh, appropriate for college applications. Uh, people will see the name of it, so not sexy star 25 that's not okay. Make sure, you know, first name, last name at gmail.com or something. Um, so go ahead and go through there and once you get to the end of that, it's going to take you to this. This is what's called your dashboard. I created a little demo account here and I've, I added a college that I know has um, uses Common Application as their admissions tool. And so um, the way that I did that was I just went over here to this college search tab. You can search by uh, the city or name. Um, you know, you're going to want to make sure you're going to click fall 2014 because that's next year. Um, you can also search by deadline. So if it's already January and you still haven't applied to schools, you can choose. You know, you can search by which schools still take applications after the date that it is. Um, and so you can you can type in a name. Um, so if we type in Cornell, see what pops up. So you see Cornell University. So um, you just click the uh, tab there and click Add, and it'll add it to your list. Um, and that, that'll show up here on your dashboard. Um, it'll also show your, your status of your application, any deadlines, um, any type of supplements that you might have, and then you can also delete it if you change your mind. Um, you can also go to your My Colleges tab. This is information if you need to call them to ask questions. A lot of times I may direct you to um, speak directly with an admissions office because I may not have all the current information and they're the, really the experts on their school. So if it's a very intricate or detailed question that uh, you know has many different uh, things factoring into it, I might direct you there. It has any type of um, application fees, testing policies, what's required, um, and that type of thing. So you can see there's two teacher evaluations, mid-year, final year report, and then um, also your writing supplement, all these different things. So you can also you can go through here and, and uh, make sure you do that. And then on this Common App tab, this is going to be all your information. So you, you're going to start filling out all this stuff. I started. I'm not going to do it all because I, I don't need to go to college anymore. Um, but you do. So make sure that you're using, you know, this is your full legal information, everything correct. Um, you know, all this stuff is really important, contact information, your education, uh, you know, looking up our school is very easy. You can type in North Tahoe, you can type in our, you know, SAT code of 053537, that'll come up when you started, um, so that'd probably be August of 2000, I think, for this year, and then it's not a boarding school and blah, blah, blah. All this information here uh, is going to be on our website, so my first name's Jeff, my middle name, uh, you don't need my middle initial, I guess. Uh, my last name is Reem, R-E-A-M. Um, not Reems, not R-E-A-M-S. Um, and then I'm, you can just call me counselor. And then my email is jreem at ttusd.org. And my phone number is 530-581-7003. All that, again, is going to be online. And you can come ask me for it if you need it. Uh, but that's also going to be very important because that's how I will get notified that you actually filled it out because I have stuff that I have to do for you as well. Uh, if you took any tests, what types of activities you've done, um, and then as you select these, it'll add more options for you. Um, and then the writing component, which is your essay. And again, I'm, uh, you've probably heard this before, but again, make sure you use an outside um, writing tool because that will let you save. Sometimes if you're on here for too long, your page will time out and it won't work. Um, so use Word, use something like that, and just make sure as you're pasting it, make sure that you paste it into 
uh, like notepad or something like that that'll remove all the formatting because sometimes when you paste straight from Word into something like this, it will add a bunch of weird stuff. And uh, you know, make sure you stick with the Word um, and a little handy dandy Word uh, Word count down there as well. Once you do all that, you'll get all the way down to the bottom and you'll say submit. Um, I don't have that right now because you know mine's not done. But once you click submit, it'll show up. And then what you need to do, and you can start this as soon as you get done creating your common application account. You can head over to your Navient's Family Connection portal. Uh, and you can just go to the home page. I'll show you there from the beginning. Once you log in, and this page is accessible via the North Tower High School website underneath the counseling area. It'll say Navient's Family Connection link. Um, once you log in, head to the Colleges tab. Hopefully you've added a few colleges here to the colleges I'm thinking about. If you have you can, and you're planning on applying to them, you can go to that tab and, and click, you know, I'm a, move it to my applied list. Um, if you haven't, you can just start go ahead and start applying here. It won't do it on this account because this is a test one and I have kind of special privileges, but I want to be able to show you. So the, when you click on this college I'm applying to tab, it'll take you to a page that looks like this. But first, for purposes of explanation, it'll take you to a page that looks somewhat similar to this. Basically it's going to ask you what's called the FERPA waiver and basically that will let me as the counselor and your teachers release information from the school to another school. We can't do that so if you say no, um, you know, there's some different things. Typically yes is, is a very acceptable answer. Um, we're not here to give away personal information without you know needing to. Um, but it is required that you complete this form. And then at the bottom, you can see there's information that you need to provide about your common application. That will tie your common application to Navient's and, and let us work through there. It's really important because as a Navient school, I won't have access to your common app like I would in, in the past. I'll now be doing everything through Navient's and Family Connection. So make sure that you have that password, have that username, and fill it in here. And once you're there, I'll take you back over here, you can add you know your colleges that you're applying to and then from there it will be a much you know it'll be another tutorial that I'll show you of how to actually apply and change your status and request transcripts and add te add teacher recommendations and what you have to do to make sure that you're following up um, it seems a little bit confusing and, and it will be for the first little bit but once you get used to it um, and once you have access to the questions it, it will become much easier and trust me when I say that, that this Navient's program is a big benefit to all of you who are actually using this program. I've, I've spoke to many schools and many students across the United States, and everyone loves it, um, colleges included. So please uh, poke around, and if you have any questions, please do call, shoot me an email. Um, you can also access help uh, through the Navient's program. You can access help through the Common App. There's a lot of resources out there available to you. Um, Please stay tuned for another episode of this, another little tutorial that I'll show you about how, uh, once we get into this Navient's piece, what we need to do next. Uh, but for now, that's what I got for you. Thanks for watching.